Hello friends, my name is Rahul Rana and you're watching SEO to Web Design. Do you want to make an e-commerce website? Do you want to know which platform will be best suited for your e-commerce? You are wondering, you have seen lots of open source that are available on the internet and you are too much confused that which e-commerce platform you should opt for. If you want to know all these things, then this video is for you. So you want to make an e-commerce website but you are too much confused that which platform you should opt for. Yes. Today I am going to cover up all these things in this video. So what is an e-commerce website? E-commerce website is like a website where you can sell your products or services with the help of the with the help of website and you want to integrate a payment gateway so that people can come into a website select a product add to cart and then they can go to the payment gateway and there they can pay with the help of their debit card credit card or whatever the card they have and they, they after paying they will be redirected in your website and you will be getting an invoice plus your customer will be getting an invoice and this is how an e-commerce works work so if you want to make an e-commerce and you are looking for this type of platform then I will be covering up all these things in this video basically there are uh, I am covering three open source e-commerce platform here one is your WordPress second one is your open cart and the third one is your Magento there's one more that is Presto shop but I'm covering only these three parts in this video so what is a WordPress e-commerce website wordpress is generally a widely used cms that is present on the web cms is content management system where you can edit your products where you can edit your services where you can edit all the pages with the help of a simple backend so wordpress is also a cms but wordpress is not an e-commerce platform but with the help of a plugin that is woocommerce that comes with it with the help of by installing that woocommerce plugin you can convert your wordpress website into an e-commerce website why you should what are the pros and what are the cons in the wordpress website that i will explain in future i will explain after after some time so the second platform is your open cart open cart is widely used uh, e-commerce platform mostly used in the india and some some other countries and the third one is your magento magento is a magento is a very popular open cart uh, very popular e-commerce platform it's not an open cart it's a, a lot, uh, different uh, e-commerce platform so i will be explaining all the pros and cons in, in these three platforms the, let's start with the first one wordpress e-commerce wordpress e-commerce comes with woocommerce plugin and if you want if you have some products like if you if you don't have more than 10 products or 100 products and you you cannot go for that for example you are a manufacturer and you uh, you know you will not ma manufacture more than 10 to 50 to 100 products then go for you can go for an woocommerce uh, woocommerce plugin or a wordpress website why because it will be cheap and it will be uh, good to make and easy to maintain what are the cons of the wordpress website the cons of the wordpress website is that uh, the, uh, if for a long if you want to go for a long run uh, then it will take lots of maintenance because wordpress keeps on updating its uh, core and whenever it updates a core there there are certain bugs that comes up every time when they update the course so you have if you don't know the technical things then you need a need a person who can maintain your wordpress website the second one is your open card website open card is widely used e-commerce platform where you can where it has lots of e-commerce functionality so like uh, you can even create coupon codes you can get e you can generate an invoice plus lots of things you can do with the help of e uh, your open card and it's quite manageable because you get the separate column for the categories separate column for the products you get the separate column for the orders you get everything in in a very organized way so if you are looking for a, a good a platform where you can upload more than 1000 to 10000 products then you can go for open cart website they are easy to maintain but you need a developer for that if you don't know the coding the third one is your magento magento is a widely used platform and it's 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 quite popular but 
if you don't have a uh, good hosting with it then it's it will be very slow to operate so you know uh, if you want to run a magento kind of website magento magento cms website then your hosting must be vps you must have a vps with that because in shared hosting whenever you will add 100 products it will just go down or it will go very slow so if you want but it has lots of functionality plus you can scale it up with lots of things and uh, it's very quite popular the pros uh, of the magento site is it's widely used and it you can scale it up the cons of magento website is that uh, you need a good server uh, team with that plus their plugins and the modules are quite uh, higher in price when we compare it with the open card and the wordpress so if you if you have a good budget and you have a good maintenance team and you can pay uh, for a uh, on a long run then go for the magento site if you have a, a normal budget and you want to add more than 1000 products more than 100 products and but want to make it cheap not cheap make it affordable then you can go for an open cart website because uh, in the open cart if uh, i have i have created more than i think uh, 20 e-commerce websites including uh, the these all three platforms one is your open cart one is uh, wordpress and the magento one so i know what are the pros and cons in this in these platforms okay today i have explained you which what are the most popular e-commerce platforms that are there on the web these all are open source so the main thing the best thing is that that, that you can modify them you can edit them if you are a developer and uh, that's it so if you like my video do like share and subscribe and don't forget to click on the notification bell so whenever i post my next video about digital marketing and the fun and the web design fundamentals you will get that right in your notification bar so thank you very much Thank you for watching. Keep sharing. Have a nice day.